Dana, I would say that tomorrow's vote is a historic hurdle in the quest for national reciprocity. And this may be the most expansive bill ever to hit the congressional floor when it comes to personal protection. I'm going to tell you something, Grant. As someone who is not a girl shrieking, smiley, smilerson person, um, I'm going to be exceedingly happy if this makes it through the House because this will be my Christmas hat trick, tr the trifecta of things that I've wanted for Christmas. I wanted, I wanted General James Mattis sucked up. I wanted him to do something regarding rules of engagement. I also wanted to see the appellate courts filled with good justices, as the president has done. And I also wanted to see Grant. I wanted to see concealed carry reciprocity make it through the House of Representatives and it looks like it's going to happen. Of course, I want to encourage everyone to burn up those phone lines. Do what I do. Call morning, noon, and night because they love hearing from you. And be incredibly, be incredibly polite and be incredibly civil, even when you're talking to those of a different, perhaps, Second Amendment persuasion. And to just be cheery and tell them Merry Christmas and God bless America and make sure you get this through because this is why millions of us went to the polls last November and voted because we wanted to see something like this happen. So, Grant, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with all the happiness uh, if we're able to get this through the House. And uh, I just, I don't know. I don't think, I, I feel like the Grinch who stole Christmas. Well, I'll tell you what, Dana. I love that I'm already even starting to see that smile come out on you. And maybe come Thursday morning, I'll call you Smiley <laughs> McSmilerstein. So maybe, maybe it'll happen. <laughs> Who knows? I'm very excited. But I, 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 want, I can't underscore enough how important it is for everyone out there watching to call their, their representatives. And not just the representatives. You can go ahead and start calling your senators morning, noon, and night as well and make sure that that happens uh, because they, they need to hear from you on this. You need to be in their ear because they have a lot of forces that are very much against your Second Amendment right and in their ear as well. And so we want to outweigh that and we want to be positive and we want to be polite. Mm -hmm. And civil and cheery and be a joyful warrior. And so that's what everybody, you all need to make a promise that you're going to start doing that today.